So this is the B flat bass French horn. It's a fifth below the standard F horn. Uh, it's essentially a valve contrabass trombone in uh, French horn shape. Uh, it's got about a third to two fifths conical tubing compared to the uh, it's two thirds so or uh, one third to two fifths conical tubing compared to cylindrical tubing. Uh, the lead pipe is a tuba mouth pipe. Uh, it's got a tuba receiver on there, tuba mouthpiece receiver. Uh, the bore is 687, uh, four inline valves, standard, you know, fourth valve is equal to one and three. Um, left hand. Uh, the bell is a 19 inch or 18 inch, somewhere between 18 and 19 inches. Uh, all the valve slides were pulled. Um, that was to, oh, that's, that's, I gotta do that. Um, all the valve slides were pulled because I needed to, well, they needed to get pulled anyways. They, they were frozen. Um, so yeah, second valve needs to be reassembled. Um, that was the toughest one to pull. I had to totally dismantle the second valve in order to, you know, turn the crook, you know, pull, pull out just enough unsolder it, solder it back on one side, and pull out and then you know, take out the other side. Um, the main tuning slide has been cut about two inches, inch and a half, two inches. Um, that was to bring it up, um, and that was to allow for hand tuning to be a little bit easier, so you could essentially, I, don't know, I set her about I don't know, a quarter inch out or so. Um, and then, you know, the hand brings it down in pitch. Uh, clockwork rotary springs, I had looked into, um, it, it was what I had on hand. Uh, yeah. is a little bit too thick of a tone kind of uh, to me it doesn't sound much like a French horn with a tuba mouthpiece um, I try to use like a, an F or an E flat mouthpiece ideally uh, I would get a custom mouthpiece made from like Dennis Wick um, with a tuba shank and maybe like a bass trombone size mouthpiece um, I've been using and, uh, a trombone mouthpiece with um, electrical tape around the bottom and it gives it a little, little bit uh, sweeter sound and a, a little bit brighter a little bit more like a French horn <laughs> is limited by the, uh, the uh, cup diameter and the rim diameter. So again, bass trombone would probably be better, maybe a contra bass trombone, something in between those two. Uh, the thumb rest was switched around to more of a hand rest. It got really tiring to hold the thumb on there. And when I was doing that, I was more of using three valves and couldn't really work the fourth. So I switched it around and now it rests on your hand, you know, there. Um, I'm trying to think what else is there. You still have access to all the, uh, the, the bearing caps and everything on the rotors. You can still pull the rotors out. The fourth valve is a little tricky because you got to, it's just the way I built it. Um, I'm trying to think. You could probably use a good cleaning. Uh, it's got a coat of clear lacquer on it right now. One coat of clear lacquer, mind you. Um, 
parts of it have worn away because it's one coat of clear. Uh, it has, you know, some dents, you know, a couple dents, some irregularities, some scratches. Uh, it's it's a it's very much a prototype. Still got solder everywhere. I scratch brushed it. Um, it's not a perfect instrument, it's a prototype, and it, it works really well for a prototype. I've used it at a couple Tuba Christmas events, uh, well received there, and then I have people coming up, you know, afterwards that goes, oh yeah, I played French horn, blah, 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 they're really interested in this. Um, I modeled it after the Roger, Roger Bobo's bass horn in C that Larry Minnick made, I think some parts from Miraphone. Um, uh, I got pictures of that, and uh, it's about the same size. Obviously, mine's in B flat. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, let's see. No, that's hand stopping still works. Um, I think on the Roger Bobo's, their that bass horn, the throat's uh, much larger than this. But then that was a much more expensive instrument. Um, so hand stopping, I don't know how hand stopping works on that. I've never seen anyone hand stop that. Um, people I, that I know that have played that haven't remarked on being able to hand stop it or not. They haven't said anything about it. Uh, on, on mine it does. Throat's just small enough to do that. This is without hand. <laughs> out here uh, so yeah it's this is the B flat bass horn or the valve contrabass trombone in French horn shape as is <coughs> um, I'll include pictures of the, the slides and the body and the telephones ringing um, so yeah it's a uh, $2,400 plus shipping. Um, uh, shipping is going to be a little funky uh, just because the bell can't be... I don't want to remove the bell on this. Um, it's going to be a little odd to do for that. Um, so shipping might be a little, a little expensive if I do buy like UPS or FedEx. Um, obviously you could if you wanted it shipped by Greyhound, I could ship it by Greyhound. They just have an insurance limit of three hundred dollars, which, you know, if that's fine with you, that's fine with me. It's not a big deal. Um, I accept uh, personal checks. If you're paying by PayPal, you have to cover the fees. Um, it is, uh, I think it's like five or six percent. Uh, just it's it's easier just to send me a, a, a check and then once payment clears with the the shipping um, you know you, you, uh, it, it, let me know ahead of time before you send the check um, so I can get it boxed up and give you an estimate for shipping depending upon the carrier you want um, and then you know send the check and then once that clears 
I'll have it shipped out to you um, with a receipt of sorts. Um, I have other videos of this um, that have are either as long or longer. I tend to ramble. Uh, yeah, but that's that's the base horn. Uh, yeah, it's, it's got a liar on it if you want to march with it. Uh, yeah, it's it's a big instrument. Um, it fits well. It plays well for what it is for a prototype. Uh, yeah, so that's the face horn.